Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley and welcome to Stephen Cooley's Real Estate Show. Hope everyone's enjoying this nice, beautiful summer that we're right in the middle of. Homes are selling like hotcakes and school's out. And people are on vacations and we're happy to be filming today and, and welcome to the show, Julie. Thank you, Stephen. And, and happy birthday. Well, thank you. It's, uh, it's got to have been a big one this year. So, uh, 30 at last. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But I hear that we've got some really good um, information here that your group was voted the top five in the world for Keller Williams? That's, yes, we're having a great year and Keller Williams is a great company. They just passed as a number of agents um, um, from number two to number one in the country. And so they're the largest real estate group in the country now, the Keller Williams organization, and we rank in their top five um, year to date. Um, we've been two, we've been three, we've been number five. And so um, that's really an honor and I always say this about our area, Julie, is that it's, it's an honor for me, but also speaks volumes. Um, I've had realtors call from Miami and New York and California saying, what in the world is going on in York County for you to get to be in the top five? And especially with our price point being so much lower than those other big cities. And I just say, well, we, we, we got a great group of people here and beautiful homes. and and um, we enjoy working with them and you combine all that and it puts you in the top five in the world. Well, that's awesome. I think you also got listed in the Wall Street Journal as one of the top agents in the country. We did. Um, um, Wall Street Journal ranks the top agents in the country and they, they do that by volume and we were ranked in as one of the top realtors in the nation and listed in the Wall Street Journal. And then um, thanks to Keller Williams, they ran an ad congratulating us also in the Wall Street Journal. So we actually got mentioned twice. And thanks to everybody in the area who sent me their copy of the Wall Street Journal, because I don't read the Wall Street Journal. Um, so I got several copies and, and we're gonna save them and frame one of them. So thanks to the folks who sent those in. Wow, how awesome. Well, with all that being said, what kind of advice can we get from the top agent? <laughs> well, um, real estate's local, first of all. So what's going on across the nation is not necessarily what's going on in our viewing area. Um, but um, we're at that, well, I guess the advice I would give folks is we're at that pivotal area uh, of real estate to where if you, uh, whether you should sell or not or move or not because real estate started recovering a, a year ago and so all of our homes are worth more today than they were a year ago and they'll probably be worth more a year from now than they are today. So do you sell now or do you just hang on it and let your home go up in value and common sense would say don't sell now let your home go up in value but you if if money's not necessarily the reason you buy and sell your personal house it's usually a lifestyle change um, and so um, with that said you should move when you need to uh, not necessarily when your house is at the most expensive and if you're going to buy another house just remember this is your house this is the home you're going to buy and if it's a financial decision, as your home's going up in value, this home may be going up faster. Uh, depends on the city, the neighborhood, the style of the house, the condition of the home, what the neighbors are selling their homes for. And the biggest thing in, in own, home ownership, 98% of people get a loan from a bank when they buy a house, and over 70% get a 90% or greater loan to value, is what the interest rate is. Um, um, a 1% increase in interest rate, it costs you what a 10% increase in the home would cost you. So predictions are, I think 100% unanimous um, predictions are that interest rates are now going up. So if you sit in this house that you're in now and let it go up in value, which sounds like a smart thing to do, remember the home you're going to buy may be going up faster than your house and then the cost of borrowing money is definitely going up. So it's really truly the best time to make that move because your home is worth more. You can still grab the next house cheaper than it's going to be and grab the money too. Well, I have a question. Um, if, if you're in a neighborhood, for instance, I live in Fort Mill, and all of a sudden we all know Fort Mill is getting ready to explode. Yeah. So people that are living there currently, you know, the, the values have kind of been, have held steady. Fort Mill has done really well. But when you have more being built around you, what does that do to your value? Well, um, Fort Mill's a unique area. It's one of the most unique areas in the country and definitely in our region, uh, very unique. And Fort Mill's home prices are now past peak, which was 07. And so most of the people's homes in Fort Mill are worth more now than they've ever been worth. 
and um, and they're going to keep going up more. And Fort Mill has a limited amount of land that they can build those homes on, and most of those homes are going to be very expensive. So. Um, Fort Mill, people um, um, get the convenience of Charlotte, and they some love the schools in Fort Mill, and um, so you get both of those, and you get over into South Carolina for all these Charlotteans, and taxes are cheaper. So Fort Mill's a win-win forever, or in our lifetime, and you just go down two more exits and cross the river, and then you're in Rock Hill, and it's doing extremely well too. Very new, and if you, if for those of you who have ridden around for the last six or seven years, you couldn't find a new construction. Now you're seeing new construction start back in every neighborhood, and that's another great sign of a real estate recovery and the fact that people are buying homes or building their dream homes again and those kinds of things. And so it's just a, 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 a great time. And what we offer here is we can come out and meet with people and we can give them the current value of their home. We can talk about where they're moving to and kind of help them decide if this is a time they should jump in and do it or not. Because again, there are areas going up faster than us around here and in other parts of the country that if you're moving to, um, you want to get in before they really escalate fast. And so um, that would be my, my biggest advice to people in, in making a decision whether to move or not. Um, um, and the next house um, you, you get, um, it's going to go up in value. And so I, I would recommend you know, people buying um, not as conservative as I've been uh, recommending the last six or seven years, but go ahead and buy, a, a, you know, the more, you, the, the more expensive the home is, if homes are going to go up 20% in the next five years, the, the bigger the house, the bigger the gain. So um, it's a good time to buy that big dream home and get in it before it, things go up. So you foresee that this bubble has, has passed and yes. from here on out it's going to Here on out, in my opinion, is great news. Um, they surveyed the top 50 realtors in the nation and I was surveyed and interesting enough though, uh, right at half said that they thought that the market may soften again, but um, I was one of those who, who said that I thought we were in a full recovery. Our area is in a full recovery. I don't know about the rest of the country. Well, I believe you predicted when it was going to kind of go down and, and now with, the, with it going back up, uh, yeah. sounds like you know what you're doing. Yeah, I think I do <laughs> after 25 years. Thank you for being on the show today. Thank it's you. always a pleasure to have you. And we've got beautiful homes for sale in your area. And the homes on the show today are for sale, but they're going quick. So if you're interested in one of those, please give us a call here at 803-985-1240 and visit us on the web at stephencooley.com. Thank you again, Julie. We'll be right back. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. If you're interested in advertising your business on the program, please give us a call at 803-326-2777 or send us an email at ask at makeitlocal.com. Join us next week for more discussions on real estate topics and help in finding your perfect home. Thanks for watching.